Hi, KU students. This is Mrs. Shilevich here. I want you to know that I <laughs> I hate being on video, but I wanted to make this because I wanted to um, show you all the stuff I put in my sensory tub at, in my classroom. And I plan on making it in my classroom, but that didn't happen, so I'm here in my basement. Um, I also wanted to have makeup on and do my hair. That didn't happen either. So, you know, it's the real world and it's during a pandemic. So forgive me. Okay. So, um, I basically have every, just a ton of stuff here and I just want, I'm just going to hold it up and just, I'm going to put all, put this video in a PowerPoint, um, to, um, kind of show you some other things. I have a video I want to show you as well. Um, so I'm just going to show you the things and just tell you, you know, what they're used for. Um, I wanted to show you live instead of take pictures because it just won't, you won't get the full effect unless I show you what they're kind of what they do, I think. Um, okay. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is this is just, just a little stress ball. So easy enough. Just there's, you know, you can get these anywhere. I have, I have like a little piggy one. Um, I have a few there, things I have multiples of. I just grab one of, um, and then I'm just going to set it aside and go to the next thing. So, so stress balls. This is silly putty. So I don't need to show you how that works. Everybody you think knows what silly putty is. I hope so. Um, but you can, and you know, with these items, some of the things you'd want to, um, are quieter that you would have kids have in their hands and have access to when the, their, the teacher is teaching. Some of them are maybe a little bit obnoxious or loud that you wouldn't want. So you, you just kind of decide, um, a good thing to do. It's called, um, and we call it in school instructional choice and that's given them a choice. And this isn't really instruction, but if it's instructional choice is like when they can choose to like write about something or record themselves, um, doing the information, um, or I don't know, making a poster or something like that. So that's instructional choice with academics. Um, but with a sensory tub, definitely like maybe pick um, like three or four or five items and then having them pick one or two um, that would be appropriate that you are okay with. Um, okay, so I'm gonna keep going. Okay, anything, anything little, furry, soft that they love that they can hold and hug and you know kind of just play with and just maneuver like this is this is definitely a quiet thing um i just brought one of those but like you know beanie babies but that's really soft um and then i have just this is just like these are just a couple pom-poms and some um cotton balls so they're so soft and, you know, they can, they can, you know, they can rub it on themselves. And, um, so that's just basically what, the, what this is for. And this, and the, these are good for like calm, calm down time. Um, and let's see, these are a lot of, I told you, I think that our counselor puts some stuff together for all of our classrooms and, um, she just went to the dollar store and filled a tub for everybody from the dollar store. So it was really cheap. And I'm all about saving money. Um, but this is one of the things she found. <laughs> and it's just a bow. And so it's just, it's so fun. Like they're, you know, they're, they're curled and, you know, they can, you know, string them out. And so this is just, or just, you know, feel it. And I love sensory. So seriously, like, I love all this stuff. Um, there aren't any spinners in here. I have, I have some spinners, but there aren't any in here. Um, just, I don't know. They're just not, it's just different, different stuff. So nothing against those, but I just don't have any in here. Um, and then these are little, these are little gadgets that I, I have a whole tub of these and this, I bought this for morning, one of my morning tubs. Um, they can make just, you know, make a snake or, you know, different shapes or, you know, they can make all kinds of different things. I don't know. I'm not very good at it, but they can make all different kinds of shapes and colors and then they can stretch it back out. And, um, 
start over. So anyway, that's what these are for. And I have all different colors and a whole tub of them. Um, let's see. These are super fun. I love these. And these are, I have a lot, I have a whole tub of these. These are magnet geometric shapes. And so these are something, uh, when, and when people think of sensory stuff, they don't really, they don't always think of, um, building for some reason. They more just think of like, I don't know, making something go like a spinner or just holding something, but building something, you know, is super fun. So these are magnets and then they're, I, you know, all different shapes and I, that I brought. Um, but I have a whole tub of these. They don't come with very much, but I bought this, I bought these a while ago. Um, for a morning tub as well because like I told you guys I try to put we try to use different things but there's always a building thing so that's one of them um, okay so since I showed you magnets I'm gonna show you all the magnets I have um, these are same kind of thing um, but you make you make the shapes and then you use like the little BB BB ish things <laughs> um, not a BB gun, um, BB things to hook them together. And the kids, the kids love these. And actually you could buy like, so I have some that are like little like this and then some that are bigger and the bigger ones, um, were more expensive. I think I just bought on Amazon or something, but I think the smaller ones I found, I don't know, maybe at the Dollar Tree or somewhere, I don't know, somewhere, somewhere cheaper, but they're kind of like a knockoff version of what I had, but I just wanted to add some to it and found some. So, you know, they can make all kinds of shapes with these, but these, these are fun and I have, I have a lot of these. Um, but of course you would want to watch your age because these are, could be a big, no, no choking hazard. Um, so just be careful with the age that you have. And that actually goes, that goes with anything. Um, you're not going to, you probably won't, you probably won't come into contact with a lot of things that you need to worry about choking with, um, with teaching. But when you start doing, using things like this with sensory and little things, fine motor, you definitely, you definitely will. Um, okay. And these are magnet wands. Um, I love these too. <laughs> you can tell that I just love sensory stuff. So these are like, these are little shapes. And uh, I have two sets of wands. I think they came with like four or something. They're still on Amazon. Um, and one came with these little jobbers. And then one came with the little balls. And then it just I just threw some magnets in here just um, in the tub just to make more. Just added a bunch of different kinds of magnets. And so they... It's just, it's fun. They can, um, you know, you can't, you can't, you can't see what I'm doing, but, but you just put the stuff down like on the floor or I mean on the table and then they just pick it up. And so, and they can, they can just like, and then like pick them up too. Um, and you could actually use these for a math lesson because, um, you have, these are like great counters as well as the marble-ish ball things, whatever they're called. Um, and then you could like be like five and have five of them out, uh, or say say 10 minus five, and then you swoop up the five and you would say equals five. Um, so this is, th these are good, these can be good for a lot of things. Um, okay, what else? These, uh, uh, and I'm I'm gonna t I'm gonna tell you <laughs> where I got these. I want to give you some hints um, because I'm a dork and I just like love getting a, getting a sell. But at it was this this year I just got these and let's see these and these and these are like uh, a little um, oh my gosh what are they called. Um, I can't think of what these are called. Um, slinkies. Yes. Oh my gosh. If I didn't remember that, I was going to be mad at myself. So these are like little mini, like, you know, slinkies. So 
these and then these are like bracelets oh and the slinkies are different shapes they're like stars and hearts and circles and squares um and then all of these are like just like bracelets so you know they can you know they can wear them and you know play with them and all kinds of all kinds of you know fun things <laughs> things that might be distracting so make sure you you i don't know decide where you want them. they can put them on their ankle um but both of these things I got this after this Valentine's Day um, on clearance at Walgreens and they each uh, came in like like a little uh, cylinder container with a lot and like this I think it was probably I think I put one whole container in here maybe um, and it was it was like a quarter each or 50 cents each really 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 cheap they're just getting rid of all of them and I bought I bought a whole bunch because I bought some for this purpose and then to put in my treasure chest along with like other stuff um and then this is one of the things this is just a little fun thing <laughs> this this guy you can ah, and then his little leg on the back that fell off um and let's see these are these are fun um they're just or they're just pencil grips so they're just they're pencil grips but they're like they're just I don't know they're just super they're just super fun and um soft and they're like they're rubber and I don't know they're just fun so that's just something that they could you know play with and then let's see these are um just erasers they're star eraser tops and they're they're cool because you know they're just like pointy, so they're a different texture. So then they can they can erase with they can write something and then erase with them and then just you know hold them. It's fun to hold them. Um, let's see. Uh, I have okay. One of my um, rewards I have in my classroom an individual award they can use, except for this year because of COVID. We're I haven't used this. Um, just be obviously reasons because we're not having the kids use things that we can't readily wash um but i have a a caddy that's full of a bunch of really fun school supplies i wish i would have brought that home i could have showed you that but it has like really fun it's all school supplies but special school supplies so so like dr seuss rulers really like princesses and um um pokemon uh, like <laughs> Pokemon, um, like crayons and markers and um, cool scissors, all kinds, of, just just really fun uh, highlighters, which is something they don't have, they don't keep in their tub. But then like, so these are examples of the pencils. These are eyes that came off, off from that glue, but these are just pens and oh, and pens as well. So this, these are two things that are, you know, sensory that they like to, you know, touch and feel. Um, so those are fun. Uh, let's see. This is is a back scratcher. So this is this is something that they would just they could do on their arm or on their hand, not just their back. Um, but if it, you know if any of these kids had a pair with them, then they could you know rub their back on that. Especially if it's if someone's um, upset. Or angry this is a this is a really good tool um, let's see okay the I know you've all probably seen these but these are those those things that you make your hand impression with and then it comes it comes out or you or any you can make just different designs and then it comes out and I have a rainbow one as well but it's actually I left it at school and then Actually, this is a side. You're still, you can look. Well, you can look at either, but it looks cooler with the um, the three D kind of look with the plastic. So this is this is fun. This is a little bit loud. You know, it makes noise, but they like they like it a lot. Um, and sometimes during in, in, during indoor recess, I'll just I'll let I'll let kids play with this stuff as well. Oh, this this went along with the other ribbon. This is another another ribbon. That's that's very soft and fun to touch. Um, let's see. 
Okay, so I don't have I, I don't have a whole I don't don't have too much left. Um, these just were kind of an accident that I found these because one time when we were doing our PBL, um, they cut straws because they wanted to use straws to help with their base for their um, Native American houses, and so they, they you know they, they were the kind of straws that have the this thing on it that makes noise and stretches out, and I I just thought oh that's so fun I, so they they started doing this and that's what made me hear you know notice so I I just saved these um, and you of course you can make as many as you want but but of course these you know these aren't noisy but so fun this is that this is a fun thing to do um, so I just have just have a few of these just have just have a you know most of the stuff I just have a few of oh here's a, this another pin. <laughs> This is another really, really hairy pin that's fun. And my room's rainbows. I think I told you that. Um, bean bags. I just have one random one in here. I have these, you know, they can they can toss, you know, not hard. Um, and then they can just, you know, they can, it's sensory. They can, they can feel it. They can hear it. So you can probably, you can probably hear that. Um, it just, it's just a stress, just a stress reliever. Um, and then definitely helps with attention. And then th this is something Mrs. Jennings had in there, which I, our counselor, I would not, I would not have thought of this, but I like it because I love, I love building, like I told you, but this is, these are Jenga or Jenga, Jenga. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, but you know, the game where you pull, you slide out and try not to make the structure fall, but they could build anything with these. So I thought these are cool. Um, and you, Maybe you've seen this, I'm not sure, but with these, you can also put equations on these um, or sight words. There's all kinds of things you can make that you can uh, make this into an educational um, activity. Okay, so very, very cool. Um, and then let's see what else. Oh, and, pa and paint them different colors, obviously, because they're boring when they're all just plain wood. Um, I haven't done that yet, but I probably will in the future. Um, they like they like using spinners. Kids love using spinners. So we use these for all kinds of games, but you could also use it for like um, how many, you know, spin it and then, okay, this many minutes you can go get a drink or use the restroom or something like that. Um, and, you know, these are things that you're, that you don't want to say in front of, the class. These are things that just between you and that child. So you would um, talk about this ahead of time, um, or maybe when everyone starts working, whisper to them or something like that. But these, this isn't that. This is definitely not something you would want to like say to everyone because it, it it puts them on the spot, makes them feel embarrassed, um, or most well most of them maybe not. And some of them, some of the kids will just you know literally say what you said to them, and that's fine if they choose to do that. No, that's okay. Um, unless, unless they're getting made fun of and you know they are, but they don't know they are, then definitely intervene, um, and maybe talk to the class when they're not around or something like that. Um, these Mrs. Jennings put in there, um, and these are pipe cleaners, which are super fun. They can, they can, um, make letters out of shapes. They can just feel their, their velvety, they're soft. However, you have... You might want to, on the end, just kind of tie it like this on each of the ends so it's not pokey because it is sharp if you don't do that. So I probably would I probably would do that. Um, I haven't had anyone actually use these um, since she gave those to me. Um, let's see. Okay, so this is my favorite one, and I have to tell you where I bought this. The, I bought this, uh, let's see. Um, this year after Easter, so I haven't used this. I have none of my my kids haven't used this yet, but it was at the end of this Easter, and it was the coolest thing. And oh my gosh, like twenty cents. They were getting rid of these at Walmart after Easter. They had a whole bunch of like the area that they have, um, um, just all the all the knickknacky kid stuff that you put in Easter baskets, and it looks like this in the packet, and it says. Easter mesh tube. 
So it looks like this. And it says it was 98 cents, but like I said, I got it for really cheap. Whoops. <laughs> I left it on for too long. Um, but then you open it up and it's this long. So that stuff in there is this long and it is so cool because it's, and, and my daughter actually, when I open this up, she's like, Oh, let me see that. She wanted to play with it. Um, um, and those of you in my class that know my daughter, don't tease her about that because she'll be embarrassed because <laughs> I'm going to say something about her in a second as well. Um, but you can make it, you know, scrunch it together and stretch it out. And it just feels real. It just feels really good. So um, I would, I haven't cut this, but I probably would cut it in a few pieces. Um, okay. So that's that. Um, and then what, <laughs> what I was going <laughs> to she gave me permission to say this actually, but these, these, this is a weird thing probably to put in it, but my daughter knits and she knitted these. She knitted, she's knitted a bunch of these actually, but she just like loves to knit. She learned it when she was in grade school from our couple of our fourth grade teachers had a knitting class. And it's just, it just feel, these just like feel like so soft. It's kind of like, it's kind of like a blankie or something. I don't know what the kids, how they, what they think about it, but it feels good. And they're, they're all different colors. And I don't know, it's just something that, or they could, um, cause you know, I teach first graders, so they're, they're young. They still, the girls still play dolls, you know, um, they, some, mo probably most of them sleep with a blanket or a, or a stuffed animal. So, but, but, you know, definitely it, you could give it to them you know, wrap up a doll or, or some, you know, something with it. But, and it, and then depends on, you know, the, the child, if that's something that they, they want or not. If they think that's for babies, then definitely not. Um, okay. And then these are some, some, the, the, <laughs> these are like some more noxious like things, I guess. Not really, but sort of. Um, but this is um, a Kansas, I don't know if you've seen this before, but you maybe you have, but this is like a Kansas like tornado. So like you shake it, you gotta shake it a lot. Oh, and then you get to see like a tornado. Let's see if it worked. Oh, there's like a glare. I don't know if you can really, I don't know if you can see it on here or see, actually see it. I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm shaking it hard enough, but you gotta, you gotta shake it a long time. Um, but I want to look like one of those people using those <laughs> those things, whatever they're called, uh, to strengthen their arms, although I could use that. Um, and then this is just a big, this is sensory bottle, and there's glitter in it and little sequins. Um, and, and just, this has just water and food coloring. So this does not, and glitter, this does not have oil. So I have some other ones in my room and I meant to bring them, but they're actually heavy. So they, I, I just didn't bring them home yet because they're heavy. They make my bag really heavy. Um, but I wanted to show you, but you, I'm sure you, you guys are probably seeing these, but these are really good. These are water bottles. So these are really good bottles for it, but kids love these. They love to just watch these. And you can make, you don't have to use water. You can actually use sand. Um, I've made, I've made a lot of these before. You can use sand. Um, you can buy just sand and um, like little pebbles and different colors of seashells. You can buy those at like Hobby Lobby or Michaels. And then you can like bury like little treasure, little fun stuff in it. Um, you can even buy little treasure boxes. So that's like so cute. Um, and little, like I have, I have so many like little things. I, I love minis. I collect minis. Um, so those are, th these are super fun to make. So if you have, like I said, like I told you before, if you have any questions on any of this, feel free to let me know because I love to be a resource. Um, okay. This is just a kaleidoscope and um actually i learned about this new app this weekend when i was i babysat for a couple hours for the kids that i nanny in the summer and um one of them was showing me an app she has on her ipad her school ipad actually and it is um called kaleidoscope and they just get to make all these different 
shapes and they lift their finger and it stops and they put their finger on again it makes it again and different colors and then you can play back it makes a video of it every time you make something and you can play it back it's really cool but anyway so that this is just a kaleidoscope where you know you turn it around and it makes all different kinds of shapes um and let's see this 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 one's this one's oil so you can see, you can kind of see the oil stuff on the sides and you flip it over this is this is very thick this is viscous that's the term that we used to have to teach when we did liquids and solids but we don't actually teach that anymore in science but this is super fun it has lots of holes in it so it doesn't just come out of one <laughs> um well it is right now but um or actually they all go actually I take that back they go to one but then you can like you know mix it around um but anyway this is this is this is fun this is this is slow like this is definitely something that might put them to sleep um but this is a fun thing to have on their desk too if it's so you could use this as a reward this would be it's kind of like a lava lamp that you just like just makes you feel zen you know so I don't know that's fun um I'm really annoyed with seeing my video. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm almost done um, showing you. And then so, um, that's all the stuff in my sensory box, tub, whatever. But I just kind of wanted to show you something else as a fun thing to do, which you, you probably have used and probably know about, but timers. So this is a one minute. This is a one minute timer. So... Kids love to be timed, and I and I'm pretty sure I mentioned that there are timers online that you you know there's like a, you know kids running around a track or um, I don't know a water a faucet or that's gonna fill up the sink different things um, a lot of different there's a lot of different timers so you could check those out but just having these these are just this is just a one minute timer you can get these at any on I'm definitely online probably any of the stuff you can get online. Um, but to buy in bulk U.S. toys, that's over in Leewood. That's a good place to buy things in bulk. It's a, they have a, like a party store. So there's lots of fun stuff like this. Um, and then this is something special, um, that I got for my, um, I got from a friend, um, at my bridal shower and when I was going to become a teacher and this is a five minute timer and it's huge and it's five minutes and it was uh i don't think you can buy this in a store um they had this they had this specially made for me because i was going to be a teacher and just this is in nebraska where i lived and this is just kind of something that they do special for when their friends become a teacher i guess i don't know but i loved it and i it sits on my desk and i i i don't let the kids touch this because i know i can't replace it um you'll there'll be things like There'll be certain markers and stuff that you just don't let anybody use, only yourself. Um, but this is a timer that I will use um, for like um, like maybe cleaning up, cleaning up the classroom or at the end of the day or packing up um, or five minutes left of writing, just something like that. Just, you know, kids love to be timed. Um, and then this is just another way to do it. Also, I like to use a timer on my phone because it plays it plays a One Direction song <laughs> when the timer goes off and they like that. Um, so anyway, um, and then I wanted to I wanted to mention one other thing that when I was talking about sensory earlier in one of our earlier lessons and our senses and that there's you know six senses instead of just five, and I had said that that I that there's research that everybody there's like what there's one sense that they are lacking in and there's other senses that they are stronger in um and so I really enjoyed learning about I really loved your feedback on all of those because it's just very interesting to me because um, and one of my one of my friends a long time ago I worked with when we worked in early childhood she's the one who pointed this out to me and she's like interesting you like you really do like you know touch like I love I love touch I love to touch different textures um, 
you know, foods. Um, I don't know, like just different, like clothes, you know, different clothes. I just love texture, but I also, um, and, oh, and also sensory would be, you know, sensory play texture would be like with different things like oobleck and water play and all those kinds of things. And I know for a fact, I didn't, I didn't get any of that. No offense to my mom, <laughs> but she was a stay at home mom. But that back in the day, you know, they just didn't, they just didn't, they didn't really know know that that was good but anytime you a child is getting a sensory experience like five and under the neurons in their brain are just they're just going crazy they just they love it love it love it and all those endorphins it's just it's just wonderful um and so I this is what I was gonna say about my daughter is when I you know I only have one child and so um I probably wouldn't have done this maybe with if I had more because they all everyone says with your first child that you're you know you try to do everything right or whatever but um I um gave I just gave her so many sensory experiences um she was always um you know I have so many pictures of her finger painting with you know yogurt or pudding or writing you know practicing her letters like that um I always dyed her bath water, always, 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 um, and just, I don't know, just, just water play when it would, we, we, she had her own water table and I, you know, we make bubbles, put soap in it. Um, when it snowed, we would bring snow out from outside and put it in her water table. And then I have you know, pictures of her with her little mittens and her hat on and her winter coat on inside and, um, just any, just any sensory, um, experience I think is wonderful for kids. So even when you're a teacher and if you teach older kids and, but, and when, and if you become a mom, just don't forget that. Don't forget to give your own kids those experiences that, um, that I, that you can get, and you can give older kids too. It's not that you can't. Um, I just am not super experienced with that. Um, but sl I know slime's a big one. They, the homemade slime. I know older kids love that. Um, but from talking to most of you, you want to work with the younger kids. So my, my class, my, my experiences, my experiences and, um, education and focus is more in early childhood. Um, but there's definitely old for older kids, a lot of sensory activities you could do. And I mean, another one, you know, older kids at the end of the school year, we all, they clean their desks with shaving cream. <laughs> we just let them play with it. And older kids, they love to do that. And that is an awesome sensory um, experience. And um, you can take a little bit of, and you don't have to wait for the last day of school, but it gets the, the desks really clean or tables. Um, but you can actually put a little bit of paint in with it. And then on the different areas, and then they can mix the colors. It's super fun. Not a lot, but a little bit. And it won't hurt anything. <laughs> um, I'm not afraid of paint. I'm not afraid of glitter. I'm not afraid of glue. Like, there's there's a lot of teachers that hate all that stuff. And I'm all about it. I am about that. Um, just recently, we did we did some, we did painting in my class. And, and one of the kids got a little bit on the table and the carpet I'm like oh, it's okay you know like the commercial it's okay um but you know you just gotta let kids experiment and have fun and um and you'll be you'll be thankful and grateful for that because in turn they'll be happier um okay so I'm going to end this video and I am going to add this into a powerpoint because there's a there's also a uh uh, brain break, break I want to show you and show you about what I did with one little kiddo who didn't want to do it. Take care. Thanks.